The subcompact sedan segment is here to stay and with Hyundai bringing in the Accent facelift, Maruti Suzuki upping the ante with the new gen desire and Volkswagen's Ameo receiving a 1 litre engine, of course Honda did not want to be left behind. And so 5 years later comes this, the second generation of the Ameos. Now we've already told you a lot about it when we first saw it at the Auto Expo. Finally we get to get behind the wheel of this one. So, what all is new? In fact, this one is based on an entirely new platform. It's 17 kgs lighter than its predecessor. And obviously, you see the biggest change happened here. The front face is entirely new. Uh, the rear too is entirely new and the cabin has been completely spruced up. So what we have here is a new set of headlights. And this huge bit of chrome face right up here is what Honda calls a solid wing face. The face looks like the new generation of the Accord and even the CRV, but we think it's a bit too much on this one. The lines on the side look impeccable and even, even this uh, bonnet is pretty long. And that's because the overall length of the car has increased too. But now this car looks proportionate. It always looked proportionate. It looks better now. The wheelbase has changed too. The wheelbase is more than before, about 65 millimeters more than before. And the ground clearance is up by five millimeters. The new chassis is lighter, resulting in a drop in the car's overall weight, which Honda tells us will help in boosting fuel efficiency. The petrol powered Amaze is 17 kgs lighter than before, while the diesel sheds 23 kilos. Boot volume is also up thanks to the revised dimensions and it can now hold 420 litres of cargo which is an increase of 20 litres. The Amaze will be offered in 4 variants and equipment levels will vary accordingly. The top of the line VX will feature a 7 inch touchscreen equipped with infotainment system dubbed the Digipad version 2. The system is a newer version of the Digipad seen on the WRV, the City and even the BRV. Now the biggest thing that uh, Honda has been able to bring into its car is uh, a completely new dashboard, new steering and a nice uh, little 7 inch uh, infotainment system which now also uh, happens to have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, navigation and a lot more. The inside has been completely refurbished which is why you enjoy this entire spectacle of uh, you know black and beige and it goes well with the premium looks that Honda wanted to give the car. Sadly these features will go missing in the CVT variant which sees a very basic music system with white illumination and gets radio, USB, Bluetooth and an auxiliary input. Another feature that is absent in the new Amaze are the rear AC vents and with our hot weather Future buyers will miss that. What matters in a subcompact sedan is the space at the rear. And that's what we're going to check out right now. If you remember, I've already told you the wheelbase has been increased by 65 millimeters. And that means that there's a lot of space back here. Let me just buckle up. The space at the rear basically is very nice. Uh, 65 mm has actually made a lot of difference because there is a good amount of knee room for a person like me uh, the problem lies in the headroom that it has to offer uh, a person as tall as me still has uh, just a few millimeters to deal with before i hit the roof and that's solely because of the sloping roof design of the car uh, back here uh, feature wise there is uh, probably hardly anything apart from just this uh, 12 volt charger that you get. What is also important to know is that there is now an rear seat armrest as well with cup holders. Uh, this actually is very comfortable. The only thing is that the headroom is a matter of problem. Honda has gone that extra mile to make sure buyers are also spoiled for choice which is why you get an automatic transmission in both the petrol and the diesel variant. 
Now the Honda Amaze always had something new in it. Even in the first generation, it was the first car from Honda to get a diesel engine. Now is the first car from Honda to get a diesel CVT in India. It's it's pretty good though underpowered. Uh, this is actually 20 brake horsepower. The engine produces actually 20 brake horsepower less than the one in the manual transmission. So this one has 79 brake horsepower on offer and there's 160 newton meters of torque from as low as 1750 rpm which means uh, there's good amount of torque that comes into play uh, at very low rpms and that's mainly because the cvt has been engineered to do that so you have power from the word go and it's it's very nice even in traffic conditions it's very smooth in on the highway that we're driving right now it's extremely smooth there is also a 5-speed manual transmission on offer but the clutch is a little heavy and even the gear changes are a bit sloppy. The CVT is surely a good option here and the fact that it returns 23.8 km per litre makes it efficient too. But Honda said that it has worked on the NVH levels on the car but frankly we saw a very marginal change. Now listen to this. So yes, there's a fair amount of engine noise that comes into the cabin. We have to admit though, I have to admit in that uh, light that uh, it is far less than before. But still, yeah, that's quite loud even now. What you're driving right now is a petrol variant. Uh, this is a 1.2 litre petrol, uh, churning out about 89 brake horsepower and uh, 110 newton meters of peak torque. It drives actually very nice. It's very nice to drive. Uh, the su uh, suspension setup is uh, well on uh, a little on the stiffer side, but um, it, it takes on all the undulations on the road with ease. There is a bit of bounce when you hit one of those undulations. Uh, or uh, some uh, potholes but there's not much movement as such inside the cabin. The petrol automatic carries a bit of a rubber band effect and that's something of a letdown and the paddle shifters see a bit of a delay in response too. As far as safety features are concerned, the Amaze comes with dual airbags and ABS as standard. You also get features like rear parking sensors in the lower variants while the top of line VX also gets a rear parking camera. But the highlight of it all is how Honda has revised service costs for the new Amaze. The company said that the car will now come with a 3-year and unlimited kilometers warranty along with the option of extending it the 4th or 5th year of ownership for unlimited mileage as well. Which is a first in class feature and most certainly a helpful one for car buyers in the country. Of course the Amaze will cost more as compared to before considering the fact that it has a lot more to offer and using introductory prices as a tool, Honda is looking to undercut its rivals.